Dare Dreamcatcher series. Laying my sage. So. Hope everyone's doing okay. If you hadn't had a chance, check out my healthy choices videos. Today I went for a walk on the seawall in the rain. We were supposed to have like this major storm. But we'll find out tomorrow morning when we get ready for work if there's ice on the ground and if we can get to work. I really love sage. So I wanted to bring attention to, I'm wearing some earrings that my girlfriend got me for my birthday and they are seeds of peace earrings. So what it is, is um, seeds of peace prepares new generations of leaders from regions of conflict with the relationships, understanding and skills needed to advance lasting peace. So to learn more about Seeds of Peace, you can visit www.seedsofpeace.org. I'll also put the link in uh, below. My mom, for Christmas, got me some bracelets, and it says, Beautiful Family Daughter, and then um, it says, Family is a Circle of Strength and Love, and it says, Forever My Friend, Always My Daughter. So I just kind of want to clarify in that. When I tell someone that I am their friend, I mean that. Regardless of what they do in life, I am their friend. I am a very loyal person. And um, we all go through good and bad times, you know what I mean? And you can't judge people for their choices. So the way I see it is, you know, if I reached out and told you that I am your friend, then please believe me. You know, I'm not going to sit here and try to prove it to you. If I'm your friend, I'm your friend, and that's it. You know, I said what I said. So, here we go. Dear Dreamcatcher, my body is so sore and tender right now. I can feel the muscles fluttering up and down in my back, in my legs, and through to my fingers. I've been pushing myself to do physical activity daily. Between the cold weather, injuries, and fibromyalgia, it appears they are getting tighter and tighter each day. We also have a snowstorm coming in, and with that, the barometric pressure gets lower and lower, almost like a compression pushing against each other, and so there is no air in between them. Once the barometric pressure lifts, a sigh of relief is felt throughout my body. Another way to look at this would be to picture you are in a plank stance and a cinder block of cement was put on your back and then another cinder block added to the cinder block already on your back. As you can see, the weight of the cinder block starts to weigh you down. Although you are still in your plank stance holding strong, the body is under an immense amount of pressure. As the first cinder block is lifted off your back, you get some relief. Once the final cinder block is taken off your back, you feel like you can move again freely. I'm also struggling with trying to find the time to exercise, whether early in the morning, during the day or evening. Getting the timing down has been a challenge as well. I do not have a membership to a 24-7 fitness gym. I'm trying to work around my work schedule, class schedules, and open hours of the gym. I am also looking for alternative ways to get my physical activity in, even if it's just walking. I would like to get a consistent schedule put together so this process will move more swiftly. They say that getting your physical activity first thing in the morning is a great because <laughs> they say that getting your physical activity in first thing in the morning is great because it gets it done and you don't have to worry about figuring it out in the latter part of the day. Through this process of figuring out what is working and not working for me, I see that my days seem to keep filling up with responsibilities and social activities that are conflicting with my fitness goal. Some people would say, just say no. 
But reality is that some obligations you cannot say no to. It just is. So I guess the solution would be to become a morning person and get the physical activity done in the early hours. Great idea. So the next challenge then is to figure out how to get in enough sleep so that I can get my butt out of bed at 5 a.m. Don't you agree? Sincerely, your secret admirer. So that's one thing I'm trying to figure out and get together. Um, I've got a lot more coming up the, t up the pipeline, so enjoy.